We all know job hunting is often a stressful and exhausting experience, especially nowadays where companies are relying on AI tools to sift through the flood of applications that you're getting for each job opening. These systems can automatically filter resumes and cover letters, meaning if you don't tailor your resume and cover letter specifically to that job application, there's no way you're gonna get in front of the recruiters or a human being who can review your application to see even if you're qualified. In this video, I'll show you how to automate this process by creating your own free AI assistant. This AI assistant will generate tailored resumes and cover letters for each job application in just a matter of seconds. You simply copy and paste the job description into our AI job assistant, and then it will craft a customized resume and a cover letter that highlights your skill that will be relevant for that specific job you're applying. This will significantly reduce the amount of time that you'll be spending for each application and therefore you won't get frustrated and you can apply to hundreds of job openings in a matter of hours. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to use Zapier for this. Uh, Zapier, you can sign up for a free account. Um, you have up to 14 days to try to do a trial. Again, you don't have to pay for anything like that. You don't need credit card or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna use Zapier Central, which is Zapier's AI tools. For those of you who are not familiar, Zapier is basically an automation tool that you can connect several apps that can talk to each other and you could utilize things like ChatGPT, um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and all sorts of other apps uh, to kind of connect them to together to automate your process. But for this particular AI assistant, we're going to use central.zapier.com. So you can go to central.zapier.com. And again, if you don't have um, an account, you can quickly sign up for it and you will basically come back and land right here. Okay, so once you create your free account, you're gonna come back right here and click on create my first assistant. We're going to name this assistant my job search or actually just job search assistant, job search assistant. All right. Uh, we don't have to, I mean, you can put a description and instruction. We don't have to worry about instructions at this point. You don't have to put description if you don't want to. This actions and data sources, we're gonna take a look at it in a little bit, but let's just go ahead and create this assistant. So I'm gonna create, click on create assistant. All right, so now it's gonna take me right here. On top, don't worry about these things. We don't have to worry about that right now. We can always come back to it, but you basically land on this page where now you can actually chat with your uh, job assistant bot or job, job assistant AI tool. All right, so first thing we need to do is actually add data sources. So in order to add data sources, we can actually have several formats, but I like to use Google Docs, so that way I can easily put that in here and connect it and um, have access to it as I'm chatting for uh, future resumes that I'm building or cover letters that I'm building. It will be the data source that I'll be in inputting using Google Docs. So let's go over to Google Docs. So I've already um, have my Google Docs. We're going to create three different Google documents. First one is gonna be your resume. So again, this is gonna be a sample resume, whatever your professional experience is, a professional summary, obviously everybody has a resume. So go ahead and add um, the resume that you have created before into this um, this Google Doc. So that way you can we can use this um, as our sample resume. And again, in the future, I'm gonna show you how to utilize the sample resume to create a new design. Because as we're creating new resumes for different jobs, it's we're gonna rely on the formatting of this sample resume that we're gonna upload as a data source to our Zapier Central. So you're, again, you're going to create a sample resume as a Google Doc and name it sample resume. The second file we're going to create is your cover letter samples. So what I did is I put a bunch of cover letters. I put three cover letters here. So if you have written cover letters before, maybe put two or three cover letters that you really, really like uh, in this document as well. So that way we can utilize this as a resource for future cover letters that, that our assistant is going to create for each specific job that we're applying for. So that's our second document. And then our third document, so this is the most important one. So it's called my, I've named it my skills and accomplishments. So basically, again, upfront, you're going to need a little bit of work, but believe me, this is gonna save you a ton of time when you're applying for your jobs. Again, regardless of whether you are in the job hunt or not, or even if you're just trying to stay ahead and trying to apply for other jobs or be ready whenever the time comes that you need to apply, this is a really good thing to do. So 
what I'm what I did was I created a sample my skills and accomplishments. This example is for someone who's a customer success manager in the tech space. Uh, but again, this could be done for anybody, right? If you're an engineer, if you're a developer, whatever you are, you can uh, use this formatting, use this assistant and these documents to create uh, this process so that way you can automate your future applications. All right, so this my skills and accomplished document is extremely important. So what I've done is basically for this sample, I've put together bullet points of like about 30 bullet points of the skills that I have, let's say as a developer or whatever you are, right? So you have to make sure you do the work there. And again, you can copy this from your previous resumes or previous applications that you have done. Or even if you're currently working for a company, you can utilize your existing responsibilities that you have or your weekly accomplishments that you have. It's always good to do that. Uh, so you can put that all into this one document. So things like, for example, as a customer success manager for this particular example, I've put things like developed and maintained strong relationships with key clients, leading to a 15% increase in a customer retention and satisfaction score over one year, right? So these are all the accomplishments that I have. These are all my skills that I have. And I'm putting that all together as a resource uh, for my job assistant AI tool so that way you can utilize this source and therefore tailor each application based on the skills that I personally have. So it's not just gonna make up skills that I don't have. That's why this document is so, so important uh, because it's gonna rely on this document to uh, customize each resume and cover letter for different job applications that we're going to ask it to do. All right, so that's the third document. Again, these are only the three documents that we need. Again, I know it's gonna be a little work in the beginning, but believe me, it's gonna save you a lot of time. All right, so once you create these three documents on your Google Docs, again, make sure you're uh, saving this as a Google document. Uh, what you're going to do is then you're gonna come back here, and the first thing we're gonna do is add, add now add these data sources to our job search assistant uh, AI tool. So I'm gonna click on data sources here, and I'm gonna click on add data source, and again, select Google Docs from here. So because Zapier needs to connect to my Google account, um, if it's not already connected, all you have to do is click on connect new connection. And this is going to open up um, a pop up where Zapier is, Zapier is going to ask you to access the Google documents in your account, you're going to click on continue to Google Docs. And then you're going to choose that account. So I'm going to choose my account from here. And you're just going to click on allow. All right, so now there you go. So now your connection has been developed. So now uh, Zapier has access to your Google Docs or your Google Drive. And therefore, uh, when you click on Google Doc and you can see right now it says personals, which means that the connection has been successful. And then in order to select the document, I'm gonna click on select the data source. And again, all of these three documents that I've created shows up as here. And again, if for some reason it doesn't show up, all you have to do is click on the refresh button and usually it loads up all the documents that uh, are in your Google Docs. All right, so I'm gonna click on sample resume. Let's just add this one by one, add data source. All right, so that one is added and you can see right now it says syncing. I'm going to add another one. So same process, click on Google Docs. This time I'm going to select cover letter samples. And as you can see on, uh, as you can see on top here, that's been grayed out, which means that it's already been added. So I'm going to click on cover samples next, add data source. Same thing again with the other one. Click on my skills and accomplishments, add data source. All right, that's it. So now all three files have been added into our data source. We'll come back to actions in a, in a second here. But basically at this point, we're pretty much done with what, you mean, with what we need as far as adding the resources to create tailored uh, resumes and cover letters for our job applications. So now the next step is to actually have our assistant create us a resume um, for a new job application. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at a job opening. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up LinkedIn. All right, so let's say I'm looking for customer success manager. And again, this could be anything. So if you come, whether you're using LinkedIn or using indeed.com or Glassdoor, whatever it may be, it's not that important. But I'm using LinkedIn because it's uh, uh, clean and simple. So I'm going to click on this customer success manager and obviously on the right hand side. And this is for a company called Cohere. So all I have to do is now um, about the job shop, basically just copy and paste um, this entire description here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. 
there's not the perks are not necessary so i'm just going to click on copy paste i'm going to go back to our job assistant and i'm going to go ahead and paste it right here so now there you go all right so now i have to instruct um our bot or our job assistant job search assistant um, to create a cover letter uh, cover letter and a res resume for this particular job description based on the data source that we have available so i'm going to go ahead and type please use the data sources all right so i said please use let me go ahead and select this please use the data sources to write me a resume for applying to the following job please borrow resume bullet points from the my skills and accomplishment data source so i'm telling it to uh use the data source that i've already up uploaded this document my skills and accomplishments so i'm saying use the bullet points from there um, that match the job description and please format the resume like my resume from the central bot data source i've shared with you so i'm basically saying hey use my skills from my skills and accomplishments uh, bullet points that i've provided to tailor a resume and create this resume based on the sample resume that i've uploaded for this particular job description and i've said here's the job description this is pretty much it this is the only prompt you have to do and then again so now uh, that um, job description that i earlier copied from linkedin i posted it here so that's all we need to do and i'm just going to press enter and as you can see, the job search assistant is working on it. So it's just gonna analyze the data source. It's gonna analyze the job description. And then based on the data sources that we have provided, it's gonna create a resume based on the format of the my sample resume that we provided to it um, to create a tailored uh, resume for that. There you go. <clears throat> as you can see, it's creating a brand new resume based on the job description that we have provided and you know it's matching basically or it's editing or providing new bullet points based on these 30 bullet points that i have put on my skills and accomplishment and that's why i said that this is very important to do because it's going to utilize uh, your skills and accomplishments to uh, kind of change the description because it's going to be the same like if you have worked as a customer service manager for a particular company from a time to time, it's going to keep that. But what it's going to do is it's going to change your experience based on the bullet points from my skills and accomplishments to make sure it matches the job description that you're applying for. So as you can see, it's extremely powerful. That's literally all you need, right? So now that it created a uh, resume for you for that particular job you can either copy paste this in a word document or you can actually utilize the actions tab here to have the assistant the job search assistant send you an email with this particular resume attached in your email so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to click on actions i'm going to click on add actions and this time i'm going to select gmail and now you can select the resource but first you have to do a connection same thing like we did earlier so i'm going to click on new connection and Zapier is gonna pull up uh, and it's, it's gonna ask you to, um, we need to access your Gmail account. I'm gonna click on yes, continue to Gmail. Select my account. Click on continue. Click on allow. All right, so now my Gmail connection has been established. So now what I'm gonna do is actually, instead of sending an email, I'm just gonna create a draft uh, each time with this uh, resume attached. So I'm gonna click on save. And as you can see, my Gmail action has been now added. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, please go ahead and send me this resume as an email attachment. I'm gonna press enter. And now if I go to my email and draft, as you can see right now, there are no drafts. I don't have anything, this folder is empty. And as soon as this um, job uh, search assistant finishes, I should be seeing a new draft that comes in for that particular job description with my resume that they generated attached. As you can see, it says action in process, Gmail create a draft. So it means that it, this action that we just generated, that, that we just created, is being processed right now. And it's, all right, there you go, see? So now the email draft with your resume, the customer position and query have been successfully created. Here are the details. And now if you go back to our draft and refresh the page as you can see there you go so uh, we received a draft email with that um, uh, resume attached as an attachment all right great so now I'm gonna go ahead and say great also 
let's go ahead and create a cover letter. Please create a cover letter for this job description, for this job based on the data source. And the data source, what do we name it? We named it cover, cover letter samples, right? Based on the data, data source, cover letter samples. So again, we're utilizing our data source, and now what it's gonna do is create a cover letter specific to this job based on um, our My Skills and Accomplishment bullet points, but also based on the cover samples that we provided, it's gonna use that as a uh, source of formatting. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and do that. Very, very simple, perfect. All right, so let's just double check to make sure I did the right thing. It says, I'm writing express my enthusiasm for the customer success manager position at Cohere. And as you can see, that's exactly uh, what we did, right? We, we applied for this particular customer success position at Cohere. As you can see, it's a very powerful tool. And now this pretty much has automated your process. So now literally all you have to do is go ahead and try this again with another uh, job description. So let's go ahead and try that. So let me go back to LinkedIn. And this time, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and click on this apply for this enterprise customer success manager um, at Hasura at San Francisco. So same thing. All I have to do is copy. Actually, let's go back first and copy that prompt. So let's go ahead and go to the top here. Again, it's just a matter of copy paste now. So I'm just gonna copy this initial prompt, put it back on my job search, go to my job search, say, or my uh, job description here, same thing, copy paste this. Let's go ahead and apply about all the way down to right here, there you go. All right, perfect, let's just copy. And paste. All right, so now again, job search assistant. It's gonna say just a moment, it's gonna work on it, and now it's gonna utilize um, our data source and the job description that we gave it, the new job description that we gave it, and it's gonna same thing, go ahead, it's gonna go ahead and create as a brand new resume uh, based on the job description that's there. It's gonna match all the AI uh, keywords because then you have this personal resume for specific, that specific job and now it's gonna be able to uh, go through those AI detection tools and it's gonna um, get in front of a person or hire a manager or a recruiter. And again, now you can use the action tool uh, to send yourself a draft so that way you have uh, each individual one as um, a different resume. So let's go ahead and send us send this to us as an email. Great, send it. Because the good thing about this is it's gonna um, identify which application you're applying for and it's gonna tailor that email for that particular um, job application and it's going to send you the email and the attachment to your resume for that specific role so that way you can just organize that in your own um, email account so you have, don't have to worry about copying and pasting again you could do that it's very simple to do that just copy and paste this in a word document so that way if you want to make any improvements you can do that all right, there you go. So now the title should be the Enterprise Customer Success Manager. So earlier this was the Customer Success Manager as Cohere. So let's refresh again. And as you can see, now you have two email drafts. One is a resume for Enterprise Customer Success Manager at Hasura. And that's the previous one that we did as Cohere. All right, so, and again, same thing. You can go ahead and uh, create a cover letter for this one as well. All right, that's it. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful tool. Um, you can utilize this to now basically all you have to do is copy and paste and oh, another thing is um, You can actually use a Chrome extension as well if you want to use that I kind of like this process of creating the job assistant and getting an email draft So that way I can take a look I have a chance to take a look at that and make sure that it matches the job description So go ahead and utilize this job search assistant and good luck on your job search. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one